Hi. So I am back on day two of this build. It, it's Monday, like 2.30 a.m. I'm, I'm here right, waiting for a package that gets delivered to this during the night. So I'm just going to go at it on the uh, switch wire and see what happens. Also, the uh, the easy three is uh, doing some test prints just to, to have some baseline. So, yeah. Um, switching over to um, Voron. So, toolhead. So it happened, it happened. I knew this was gonna happen. I'm missing a heat set in one of the parts. I'm not gonna bother looking if it's me or the, the instructions. Small detail, I have my trusted little heat set tool all ready to go. Um, yeah, this is going uh, smoothly. I'm learning a lot about designing multi-part stuff with this and yeah, this might influence my design going forward. So yeah, music, some YouTube videos, and I'm just gonna keep going. There's not much that I, else that I can do here, so. So I'm at the point where I have all my, my tool head stuff in. Um, so I'm about to start the all the PCB, all the wiring stuff. I've learned a lot by putting together this, um, this entire tool head. I wish I had built one be long, a long time ago, a couple of years ago, that this would have changed everything for me design-wise. So things are going to change. Uh, so I'm glad that I'm learning a lot, um, which is what I like about this hobby. Um, so uh, removing the uh, tabs from the uh, the 5015, that was a little bit nerve wracking because I know this plastic is, is really brittle. Uh, so I just took my time I got my file out and just filed it off, all off. It took maybe 20, 30 minutes to, to do it, but I'm, I would rather just spend the time than trying to cut corners and, and literally cut corners. Uh, so yeah. The, the hot end that comes with this, uh, I might do an upgrade later. I'll see what how this performs. I'm not going for speed, so if, if, as long as this can do reliable printing, it's it should be okay. Um, who, who knows, I, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but uh, it don't, didn't come with a PTFE tube to put in, in here. I, I do have tons of that, so that's not an issue. Just telling you guys. And yeah, I, I really like this Glockwork extruder. Um, really nice design, so yeah. I, this is looking great so far. So I'll get back to you when the tool head is, is done and, and on the uh, printer. All right, I have the stealth burner on there. It looks great. Um, it turned out everything on it is printed in blue. A little bit kind of random actually. I, I did somewhat randomize what I printed, but the front I did print blue. The rest just ended up in the blue spots. Um, I love the design. I'm not sure it's gonna be, well, I, I do know that it's not as good as most other designs out there, but as a complete tool head, it's great. Um, this will be a uh, ABS ASA PC printer, so don't really mind the cooling. So yeah. So my package just arrived, it's uh, 4.30 a.m. So I'm gonna head home. I'll do some more during this week and yeah. So I'll see you in a couple of seconds, I guess. Okay, it's been a few days and I have some free time in between making two other videos. I need to reprint some stuff and I thought I would just uh, try to get some something done. So the tool head is on and next it looks like it's all of the wiring for the tool head and, and the motors. So I'll just get into it and if I have anything of note or if I just finish it, I'll show you when that happens in like a couple of seconds. So I've 
ran the um, all the wiring for the tool head in these um, thingamajigs, can't remember the name. And I, these are really high quality, I like them. And yeah, so I'm getting ready for the, the bottom. So I need to put this thing on its side. So next I'll be ha installing, if this thing can focus. I'll be installing the, all the power supply, the, the tool boards and all of that stuff. So this is the, the part that I really like about printers. So I'm excited. Now, this time I've actually read ahead a little bit for the electronics and I realized that I never installed the bed uh, just because I knew that it was going to get in the way of installing other things. So that's what I'm going to do and I realized that my, my Ender 3's bed um, doesn't have any insulation on the bottom. Now that's, that's how they come, they don't have that. But I do also remember that I had one of these uh, insulation um, pads for one of my other printers so I might as well just put this on to the ender bed um, before I put it on there it'll, it'll probably help a little bit and in just keeping the attempts even so yeah um, I'll do that and I'll show you what I'm gonna do underneath because I'm not 100% sure yet so Nah, I'm not professional. So, uh, there, there's a couple of issues. Um, some are because of me and, and others are, are, I'm not sure. So, the obvious thing, uh, my power supply is not covered because on my Ender, I had a panel that had this big fan on it. Um, so I'll have to remake something for this. Uh, it shouldn't be that much of an issue. I, I'm pretty sure I can get a cover for that power supply that I can put that fan in. So not a huge issue. Um, second, I have a wire that's not covered in the manual. I'll, I'll probably just look at the uh, Discord over at Seaboard for that. And also the, um, the fan for the enclosure or no sorry the, the electronics uh it does it, there there's no mention of it in the manual so i'll look into that it probably just goes into the sqr mini uh but i just i just want to make sure right uh also there's not a pi here the pi is actually supposed to be right here where the the sqr mini is but because of my bed uh heater wires being too short uh, I could either extend it down to here where the SKR Mini was supposed to be or I just move the SKR Mini up and then I'll put the Pi down here. Um, I'm not still not sure what Pi I'm going to use. Um, I have some um, orange Pi Minis and for lights and I might have an SKR, no, not an SKR, a um, Big Tree Tech Pi uh, somewhere. I just need to look. Um, I'm not in a hurry um, so yeah it, it's it's all coming together I might do some um, some good points to, for me to, to put all the wires down and some of that needs to be right rerouted but I wanted to get everything plugged in so that I know where everything goes and then I can redo it uh, accordingly afterwards so that's the progress for the second video of my switch wire slash ender wire build. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, I'm, but I'm just doing this when I, I'm here and I'm, I need to wait for a print or because I'm working on other videos as well. So this is not my priority right now, but um, yeah, it, it's fun just to, to break up my day. So if you haven't, already watched part one and if you like this video please hit that like button if you didn't then hit that dislike button for all for I like please do uh, let's me know if I'm doing something right or something wrong 
And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. It really helps me a lot. So until next video, I guess I'll, I'll see you.